Australia welcomes you to the forefront of solar energy innovation. With some of the world's best solar resources, our commitment to rapid and large-scale solar power production is evident. Investment in solar and wind farms nearly doubled in 2022, highlighting our dedication to renewable energy. By 2050, solar PV is anticipated to be the world's leading green energy technology. Investors can tap into significant opportunities, including an integrated silicon and solar cell supply chain, advanced manufacturing, and R&D. Australia's natural advantages, world-class expertise, and supportive government make it an ideal destination for solar investments. With incentives, grants, and a thriving ecosystem, including the highest rooftop solar penetration globally, Australia is on track to be a renewable energy superpower. Join us in shaping a sustainable and resilient energy future. Australia has some of the best solar energy resources in the world. We are prioritizing a rapid and large-scale escalation in solar power production. Large-scale solar and wind farm investment commitments in Australia almost doubled in 2022, according to the Clean Energy Regulator. Solar PV electricity generation using photovoltaic cells will be the world's leading green energy technology by 2050, when 90% of the world's electricity will be renewable. There are significant opportunities for investors in building Australia's solar PV production and export capability, including the development of an integrated silicon and solar cell supply chain, advanced manufacturing and polysilicon production, recycling and R&D. Investment into Australia's solar power generation sector also provides a pathway into other renewable investments. Solar farms are now increasingly incorporated into hybrid solar and wind power generation, and sometimes with battery storage. Investors will benefit from Australia's natural advantages, abundant land, sun, and mineral resources, world-class expertise and momentum. We're on track to be a renewable energy superpower, highly supportive government, funding and policies targeted at rapid solar energy growth, long-term domestic demand. By 2050, an estimated nine times the current utility-scale solar and wind-generating capacity will be needed in Australia. Source, 2022 Integrated System Plan for the National Electricity Market. Australian Energy Market Operator. Ready Export Markets. We are proactively developing a supply chain and export capability to establish ourselves as a preferred supplier. Our Natural Advantages. Australia has unparalleled solar resources. This includes the highest solar radiation of any continent. Source, Geoscience Australia. Australia receives an average of 58 million PJ of solar radiation a year, about 10,000 times greater than our total energy consumption. Abundant land for large-scale solar arrays. Plentiful silicon in the form of high-purity quartz to support solar cell manufacture. Australia added silicon to its list of 26 critical minerals in 2022, given its importance to technologies such as solar cells and energy storage batteries. World-class expertise, Australia has deep pools of expertise in the energy industry and a long track record of pioneering solar research. Australians invented the solar cell used today in more than 90% of the world's solar panels. See how researchers at the University of Sofio triggered the exponential growth in high-performance, low-cost solar electricity production with their passivated emitter and rear cell, PRC, solar PV technology. Australia has the highest rooftop solar penetration in the world. Almost a third of households have solar panels, and we have proven capability in the manufacturing and assembly of solar PV panels. Source, CSIRO. Australian Silicon Action Plan. We offer a highly skilled and innovative workforce, supported by our world-class universities and research bodies. We have an exemplary record in supporting investors in large-scale export industries, Incentives, Grants and Support The Australian government and state governments are working together to support renewable energy, including solar power. A key mechanism is Renewable Energy Zones, RS, the coordinate network and renewable investment. A new national energy transformation partnership between both levels of government supports alignment and cooperation to deliver market reforms and support investments in the grid. Agreed in August 2022, the partnership provides additional certainty to support investment in renewables, storage, and transmission.
Most Australian states, including Queensland, Victoria, New South Wales, and Tasmania, are developing RSs to ensure necessary infrastructure is available to support clusters of projects to develop. The Australian government's a twenty billion dollars rewiring the nation scheme is supporting updates to the transmission network to help the RSs plug into the electricity grid. It's part of the government's wider a dollar twenty five bn commitment to clean energy through the Powering Australia plan. Other strands include a two hundred twenty four, three million dollars for community batteries to store excess solar energy, and a one hundred two, two million dollars for community solar banks. The A dollar one, nine billion powering the region's fund will support the Australian industry to decarbonise, develop new clean energy industries, and help build Australia's new energy workforce. Other grants and funding pools are available. The Large Scale Renewable Energy Target (LRT) incentivises investment in major renewable projects such as solar farms. A similar scheme exists for individuals and small businesses to install eligible small-scale renewable energy systems. The Australian Renewable Energy Agency (ARENA) funds clean energy R&D and administers other grant programs. Over the past decade, ARENA has provided more than a dollar two hundred thirty million to around one hundred thirty solar R&D projects. In January twenty twenty-three, for example, it funded thirteen new projects worth a dollar forty-one. Five million for research on solar PV to reduce its cost, improve cell efficiency, and support the commercialization of new technology. The A dollar fifty mm Regional Australia Microgrid Pilots Program, running until 2026, supports pilot demonstrations of microgrids in regional and remote areas. The Industrial Energy Transformation Studies (IETS) program is providing 43 million dollars in funding. To assist large energy users in undertaking engineering and feasibility studies to identify opportunities to lower energy costs and reduce emissions, the Advancing Renewables program supports a range of development, demonstration, and pre-commercial deployment projects. This includes opportunities to optimize the transition to renewable electricity, commercialize clean hydrogen, and support the transition to low emissions metals. The Clean Energy Finance Corporation supports investment in energy efficiency, renewable energy, and low emissions technology projects. This includes the Clean Energy Innovation Fund, the largest dedicated clean tech investor in Australia. The Innovation Fund draws on CEFC finance and expertise to invest in innovation businesses whose activities can lower Australia's emissions. The New South Wales government operates a 1.5 billion dollar clean energy superpower fund to support the delivery of renewable energy storage and grid security projects. Join our thriving ecosystem. Australia's rapid uptake of solar PV technology is driving the transformation of our electricity infrastructure and a robust manufacturing base. Almost half of the 6 GW renewables development pipeline in early 2023 is solar. We continue to invest in cutting-edge R&D to speed the transition to net zero. Australia's National Science Agency (CSIRO) plays a leading role in coordinating research activity. It leads the Australian Solar Thermal Research Institute (ASTRI), a collaboration with international research institutions, industry bodies, and universities. CSIRO and six Australian universities are working closely with partners such as the US's National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Sandia National Laboratories and Arizona State University on concentrated solar thermal technology to supply cheap zero emission and secure energy. CSIRO Solar Technologies team leads the way in next generation solar cells and concentrated solar thermal (CST) research and specializes in high temperature central receiver systems. CSIRO Center for Hybrid Energy Systems is a collaboration hub for researchers and industry in hybrid energy. Energy systems that combine two or more energy generation, storage, or end-use technologies. One collaboration with Nissan Australia and Delta Electronics on solar-powered electronic vehicle charging is working towards allowing drivers to draw upon renewable energy to charge a vehicle at any time of day and in any weather, with little impact to the electricity grid. CSIRO envisions an integrated Australian silicon and solar supply chain. Its plan, prepared by Price Waterhouse Coopers, includes the development of end-to-end -end capability, from quartz mining to manufacturing, end-of-life processes and recycling, for truly circular outcomes. The Australian Centre of Advanced Photovoltaics (ASIAP) 
is headquartered at the University of Nassau School of Photovoltaic and Renewable Energy Engineering in Sydney. ACAP includes research groups at CSIRO, the Australian National University in Canberra, the Universities of Melbourne and Queensland, and Monash University in Melbourne. Thank you for watching.